When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he took me with him. Have you ever found a treasure? Some small thing that ends up being very valuable? I love that. I especially love it when that valuable thing is information, or in the case of me and my videos, material. Take this video here. This video has given me a lot of material and the opportunity to teach. For the unaware, this video was taken during the Apollo 11 mission, and in the video they say they were 130,000 miles away from the Earth. Many moon landing deniers say this video was not taken from that distance, and there are a few different scenarios they propose. I can't disprove them all because people have infinite imagination, but I can disprove the most common ones and I can put forth what I see as evidence that they were at that distance. The reason the distance is significant is the Van Allen radiation belts. A cornerstone of moon landing denial is the idea that the Van Allen belts are impenetrable by spacecraft carrying people, that its radiation is too intense to shield safely. The outermost border of the Van Allen belts is roughly 40,000 miles out. I say roughly because there are no hard edges. A video taken by people at 130,000 miles away would be a killing blow to that position. Before I, before I get to my proof, let's look at the primary proposals. One I see a lot is that the image of the Earth seen here is actually a transparency on the window. Apparently NASA, since they knew the time and the position they were going to be claiming, got color satellite images of the Earth that would have the proper terminator shadow, or they edited images and had them printed on transparencies, several of them for each of the different transmissions, and had them placed or adhered to the windows. Now, some of you have already understood the absurdity of this, but, but let me continue. Let's say NASA was able to make a transparency realistic enough that no one has mentioned any flaws in the image for 40 years. Would a transparency work? Not like it appears in this video. In the video, we can clearly see the window's borders. And when the camera moves, the Earth moves with the camera against the window. If there was a transparency in or attached to the window, it would move with the window, not the camera. I've provided a demonstration. Here, an image of the Earth has been applied to my window. As you can see, as I move the camera, the image stays with the window. Looking at the moon, however, which is far away on the other side of the window, you can see it moves with the camera against the window, much like the Apollo 11 video. The same test can be applied to another grand theory to explain this video, that astronauts were in low Earth orbit and the Earth is quite close, close enough to fill a round window and look like a sphere. A crescent-shaped stencil or transparency is supposedly placed over the window, making a perfectly accurate terminator line, feathered edges and all. There are several problems with this theory. If the Earth is so close to be cropped by the edge of the round window, some of the Earth must be getting cut off. That's not happening here. Someone would have mentioned it. Well, what if the Earth was just far enough away to be the exact size of the round window? Well, that's where the issue of the camera's movement would still be a problem. The crescent faking out the Terminator line would move with the window, while the Earth would move with the camera, and the illusion would be broken quickly. There's another issue with this scenario that I'll get to later on. Oh, and another problem with the round window theory? This isn't a round window. The command module has five windows, one round, two square, and two triangular. This is a square one. So all other reasons aside, this fact alone puts that theory to bed. If your theory is that this was done with some type of simulator with a perfect replica or something, I, I've got nothing for you. If you think NASA was capable of producing an image of the Earth accurate enough that no one has pointed out a wrong weather pattern or anything, or if your explanation is an unsupported vague phrase like trick photography, I can't convince you no matter what I say. So how can you tell how far away the Earth is uh, in this video? Well, since we know how big the Earth is, and we know how big the Earth appears in the video, we can mathematically estimate how far away the Earth must be to look this size. So yeah, we're going to do math. To do this, we first need to get some numbers. To get these numbers, we have to agree on certain assumptions. One, that this is the Earth. It's not a transparency or whatever. 
Uh, two, that the specs of the window of the command module are accurate. 33 centimeters square for this window. Some of you out there don't trust anything from NASA and thus we can't talk, but the number I'm using is the published specification. Lastly, I am estimating a nice round number distance from the window at two meters. The math shows I could half that number or double it without significant change, so two is a nice round value. We know the size of the Earth's diameter is nearly 13 million meters. I'm gonna use meters here because some of the numbers will vary widely and the meters make it clearer. We have the size of the window at 33 centimeters square, so we can make a general estimate that the Earth appears to be between seven and 13 centimeters. It gets blurry, so it's hard to tell. Let's say 13 because that brings the Earth closer to us. That's 0.13 meters. And given the size of the command module, let's estimate the distance from the window at two meters, as I said. That's half the width of the module. Lastly, we have some proposed distances from the Earth. Now, let me pull up a few things. This here represents the command module window at 0.33 meters wide and tall. Here we have the Earth set in three-dimensional space. I can move it closer or further away from the window. Over here we have the Earth and the Van Allen belts as red zones at their distances, and this dot representing the spacecraft at a given distance. Lastly, over here we have the spreadsheet with which to calculate the visual angle, distance, and size. With visual angle, distance, and size, if you have any two of those measurements, you can calculate the third. I'm not giving a tut tutorial on visual angles, just feel free to look that up. Let's start with the distances people claim. Deniers say that the craft was in Earth orbit below the Van Allen belt, so let's place the craft at 1,000 kilometers from Earth, or 1 million meters. That's the viewing distance. We put in the diameter of the Earth here, and it gives us the visual angle. We take that visual angle and set the viewing distance to 2 meters, and that will tell us how big the image will look next to the module window, which is 2 meters away. And we get 25 meters. Representing this in 3D space, we see how big the Earth would appear in the square window. Let me make the view wider so you can see how big 25 meters is compared to the one-third meter window. The vast majority of the Earth is cut off by the window. This is not what we see in the film. The spacecraft was not in low Earth orbit, just under the Van Allen belts. Okay, how about we move it out further? We say the craft made it through the inner belt and is far, as far away as it can get before encountering the outer belt. Okay, let's move it to 15,000 kilometers away into the safe zone, right up to the outer belt. We'll change the viewing distance here to 15 million meters, giving us this visual angle. We'll take that visual angle and stick it here to compare to the window. We get 1.7 meters. Considerably better than 25, but still most of the Earth is being cropped. Any movement of the camera results in a noticeable shift in the Earth's image. So what about NASA's numbers? They say they were at 130,000 miles from the Earth, that's 209,000 kilometers. What's that look like? Let's put in that distance to get the angle. Take that angle and put it against two meters away and 0.12 meters or 12 centimeters. Huh, let's move that back in 3D space with the windows. Not bad. Let's pull up the footage. It appears to me that the Earth in this footage correlates very strongly with how the Earth would have appeared at 130,000 miles away. This is well outside the Van Allen belts. A lot of people put a lot of weight on the notion that a manned spacecraft can't get through the Van Allen belts. As far as I'm concerned, this shows they got through. Now, before I stop and turn on the bragging music, remember the whole notion that this was the Earth completely filling up the round window of the module? Now, we know that this is not a round window, but what if it was? What if they were at just the right distance for the Earth to be the size of the round window? Let's check. The round window of the hatch was 27 centimeters wide. If we put in our numbers of image size at 0.27 meters, distance of two meters, here's the visual angle. Now we need to make use of a different calculation. We have the real size of the Earth and a visual angle. How far away is that? Let's see, 94,000 kilometers away. That puts it on the outside of the outer belt. They still made it through. Even at this big in the window, they made it through. But the Earth wasn't this size. It was this size. Actually, it was smaller. I was just rounding up to give the deniers a chance. 
Now, now what if we move the camera closer to the window? Let's say one meter. The visual size is now about six centimeters. Moving the camera away isn't much of an option because they are in a confined space, but even adding a meter keeps us well within the confines of the window. So there you have it. If you want to claim that this is some type of hologram or real-time slide projection on a studio wall, go ahead. But the burden of proof is on you and you've got nothing of substance to back you up. I don't want to hear anyone explaining to me that they couldn't get through the radiation belts unless they can prove to me that this is not the Earth. Because since this is the Earth, they made it past the belts. That's not me. That's not NASA. That's math. That's my job! That's what I do! No one on this planet to even challenge me. Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory.